What kind of reaction, what kind of force should, would be acting on mass M1 when we have displacement x1 t and x2 t? Okay, let's draw free body diagram. Okay, if there is a displacement x1, then there will be the reaction k1 x1 acting on the mass. And if x2 is larger than x1, then there is a net displacement in this direction. Therefore, there is a spring force acting in that direction that would be k2 x2 minus x1. Is it right? The arrow has to be in this direction if x2 is larger than x1. Right? And that has to be balanced by m1 x1 double dot. This simply expressed pictorially the Newton's second law. Newton's second law says unbalanced force will induce the mass times acceleration. Okay? So writing this equation, and we can write this m1 x1 double dot is equal to k1 x1 according to the sign convention we have. Hmm? Right. Okay. Because we use the coordinate x1 in this direction. So that is m1 x1 double dot. m1 x1 double dot has to be equal to minus because the direction of this force is negative direction of x1 t we define. And then we have plus k2 x2 minus x1. Therefore we can write this equation as m1 x1 double dot plus k1 k1 x and then we have minus k2 therefore we have a plus k2 x1 and then we have minus k2 x2 is equal to 0 but that's one equation and the other one we have to consider the force acting on this mass too and that would be k2 x2 minus x1 and that obeys principle of action and reaction and that has to be equal to m2 x2 double dot therefore this pictorial expression of Newton's second law gives us the following equation m2 x2 double dot is equal to minus k2 x2 minus x1 therefore we have m2 x2 double dot plus k2 x sorry minus k2 x2 plus k2 x1 is equal to zero so we have two equations. Equation 1 say, equation 2. Okay? This two equation, 1 and 2, can be written in matrix form. As so I have M1, 0, 0, M2, two. 
And I, I feel very safe because he's trying to find the error I, I made. I feel very safe. <laughs> so you found the error already? Plus, minus? Everybody agree? Okay. Chain. Agree, so we chain this. Plus and minus. Okay. Huh? Uh uh. X2, X1. Okay, let's see. And K matrix. Okay. I have here X1, X2 is equal to zero. Okay, what I have, what I have. Uh, K1 plus K2. And then I have minus K2. This complete to write equation 1 in matrix form. And the second equation is M2, X2. And then I have minus K2, X1, and K2, X2. If you look at the form of this K matrix, that is K1 plus K2 and K2 and minus K2 minus K2. This is a symmetric. This is a K matrix is a symmetric. What does the symmetric K matrix mean? Physical meaning of a symmetric K matrix. Okay. And the mass matrix is a symmetric. And also it's a diagonal. What does it mean? That's what we want to know. That's the difference between single degree of freedom system and two degree of freedom system or n degree of freedom system. We expressed this equation in matrix form which is quite similar with similar with single degree of freedom system Lx double R plus Kx equals zero. But this system does not have a meaning that associates with the matrix. So we have to know the physical meaning that is described by matrix form. That is our objective to study. Okay. And then what we did is let x vector u exponential j omega t as we did the single degree of freedom system we did a let a x is a e to the j omega t. Okay. 